Hey everybody out there in YouTube land, this is Jen and today I'm coming at you with another unboxing and today's unboxing video is for the only thing I do unbox on this channel, Witch Casket. So if you want to see what November's 2020's Witch Casket contains, stick around. Okay, so Witch Casket. Um, for anyone new around here, for all you oldies but goodies, you guys know I love my Witch Casket. And what Witch Casket is, for anyone who's new around here, is a bo is just a it, the name's pretty much in the title. Uh, you get witchy things. You get a spell. You get cool things for your altar. You get incense. You get art prints. Um, pretty standard box, but they do have some really cool things. Um, uh, if you're interested, if you like what you see in this particular box, Christian will leave all of the information on how you can get your own Witch Casket get below and we're just going to jump right in and see what's in November's box. Um, this one took a while to get here. I just received it today and I've seen a lot of people online have already received it like a week ago so but maybe because I'm in New Mexico I don't know. Okay so this month's witch, witch casket uh, the, the theme for this month is coven correspondence so very very cool and this is a spoiler sheet so we're not going to look at this till the end but yeah the coven correspondence. Um, the first thing I see in this box is a little art print. Um, it's, it's, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, this art print, um, if I'm going to be honest, and I love the art prints. I know a lot of people, the art prints, no matter what kind of box they're unboxing, the art prints are usually not one of their favorite things. I usually really like the art prints, but if I'm going to be particularly honest, I'm not too big of a fan of this particular art print. It's, it's a very pretty art print, but it's, it's a little too cutesy wootsy for my taste. Um, it kind of has that fairy vibe and I'm never, be, I've never been into the whole fairy thing, but I do have a very good friend who I think she would probably really like this so I might slip this in with a Christmas card to a friend because I think she would appreciate it a lot more than I do I'm not knocking the print guys don't get that idea it's just personally this isn't exactly my style a little on the cutesy wootsy side for me um, the next thing I see is uh, coven correspondence sets and um, on the back I like how they have a little bit of a wax seal on the back so let's see what exactly a correspondent set we get oh oh we exactly what you guys are thinking it is it is some uh, some sheets of paper and envelopes and very nice I love this I love this I hope you guys can see it um, we have uh, the uh, pen uh, pentacles on one of them and we have this just kind of pretty pretty design on the next one and we also have ooh, and then we have spider webs so very cool I like that a lot I actually really like this I love uh, I, I am one of those people I do take the trouble to write letters sometimes I don't do it as often as I should but I do like to and I always am looking for interesting paper to write this on so and I have a couple people I know who would appreciate getting a letter with this sort of uh, with this sort of uh, decor on it so very very cool and not only did you get the uh, letters themselves but you also got envelopes black envelopes which are very appropriate so very very cool it's kind of a shame uh, writing letters are, is kind of something that's kind of going by the wayside and I get it it's more convenient to do other things but there is something really nice you can't deny when you see an actual letter in your mailbox or something you kind of go ooh. It, it makes you feel special because you know you sit down and take a piece of paper and write down and it takes some time so I think when you send a letter or a card and you write a personal message in it it's something that says hey I care <laughs> or maybe that's just me um, the next thing we have in is the creativity charm bag kit so this is our spell for the month um, also this box smells amazing I smell clothes cloves in it so I imagine that's something probably for the spell kit and let's see what in creativity um, contains everything you need to explore the depths of your own imagination I like that although my imagination might be a scary place I don't know <laughs> maybe I shouldn't go too deep in my own imagination guys um, let's see, uh, what's in the bag? And the, yep, this is just our charm kit for anyone who's new to, they give you everything you need to make a creative uh, charm kit. And let's see, we have a bag of, it doesn't say, um, it smells like cloves and I don't know, something else. Whatever it is, they smell really good. They do not say exactly what these two herbs are, but they smell amazing. We have a little gemstone. We have our bag to put all of our, our little satchel to put all of our spell in. And a satin pouch, cloves, I was right, and basil for creativity and cloves for cl uh, clarity. Um, and a blue crystal 
for uh, for self expression and creativity. And so you do the little you do the little charm and uh, you make your little charm, hang it over somewhere, and hopefully it'll open your mind up to you know your creative side. Also, what I do um, uh, the little after you do your little spell, um, the other side of the of the card is kind of cool. And a lot of times I'll get little frames and just put the the spell on the back and you know show it off on my altar because that's kind of a, I like this actually better than our actual print. So sometimes they have some really neat ones on these little cards, and sometimes it's kind of cute to frame them they're too pretty to just kind of throw out or you could put them in your book uh, grimoire or wherever else you want to put them but that's kind of cool okay the next thing and this is something we usually get in every box it's a uh, creativity blend it's a tea blend and i like how their little pun on tea this time in creativity um these teas are very good um i've, I've and it, this will be a perfect one tonight because it is really cold where i'm at even though i'm in new mexico we're having a chilly we're having a cold streak right now so after tonight after i get everything done this will be nice to put on right before i go to bed um yeah i, I really enjoy their teas and this couldn't have come at a better time so yeah let's see um the next thing i see we have is our pin our witch casket pin we this is another thing we get in every box um i have i know some people don't know what they what they what they do with pins i've heard people who order this go i like these pins but i don't know what to do with them what i do with mine is i have a jean jacket that i put all my uh witchy pins on and um this one's really cool it's a parchment and scroll a pin with a little pentacle on it very very cool i will definitely be happy to add that to my jacket and if i remember in the next unboxing i'll remember to have my jacket with me and i'll show you guys all the pins and what i do because I, I hear a lot of people say i like the pins but i don't know what to do with them and i hear that not just in the witch casting unboxings i hear that in pretty much any unboxing i've ever watched if you get a pin people go what do we do with the pins put them on a jacket <laughs> that's what jen does Okay, and then to go with our with our uh, writing, uh, with our correspondence set, we get, and it's in a lovely velvet pouch, I always love how they package everything in this box, is the uh, wax sealing kit. And I have always wanted one of these guys, but I've never justified myself to spend the money. So this is kind of cool if you're like me who've always wanted one, but never have uh, gotten one. Now you've gotten one. <laughs> and they give you everything that's very cool you get the little uh, where you heat up the wax they give you the wax chips and the little candle and that is cool but shouldn't I have a uh oh oh no it's there okay <laughs> I thought I did they didn't send the wax seal but they did um, but this is all the things you need to to actually do it and then they did send the seal. I was afraid they were, I was, I didn't see it till I looked down in the box. I was like, did they not send the seal? They sent the seal, but they gave you everything you needed. So very, very cool to go with your letter. And then the seal, the actual seal comes in this little box and it has some weight to it. And let's see what the seal is. Oh, and it's a little pentacle. Oh gosh. And it's very good quality guys. The, the, it has some weight to it, which I like. So you take your, I'm, I don't think I need to explain this to anyone, but basically what you do is you take this little spoon thing in here and, and take your wax chips and pour the wax chips in your little spoon and then heat it over this little candle and there and then you put it in then you put your seal into the wax puddle and you got your thing for your envelopes to seal your envelopes that is very old worldly very classy i really really like this this is a very cool i like this item this month this was well worth the wait and probably one of my favorite items i've ever gotten and i like that it's a pentacle it's just very 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 cool i'm I, don't be surprised a couple of you guys watching if you don't uh, if you're if any of my good friends are watching you probably are going to get some letters from me in the next couple of months this is very very cool i like this a lot but very and it, it's very good quality i've seen a few of these in uh in uh department stores that are kind of chintzy this one actually has some weight to it and is very nice so very very cool i like that and it's something you don't see it's a little different um also to go with your uh set is this magic the magic within you and you could do anything it's just a little container a little holder and you could really do anything with this you could put pens and pencils in it you could keep your little uh wax sealing kit i bet everything would fit 
in the wax sealing kit. And yeah, you could even keep all your little wax sealing stuff. And if you have a little desk or in a little area where you keep all this stuff, this would look nice. It would also look nice in, an, in your altar. You could keep something that's precious to you from your altar on this. So you could do a lot of different things with this. And, and again, very good quality. This isn't cheap quality. Um, very well made, very sturdy. I like it a lot. Very cool. Uh, let's see, we're getting down to the nitty gritty folks. Um, the next thing is, and I'm really happy to see this, this is something that we have gotten in previous boxes but we have not gotten in a while and that's incense and it's, um, a, uh, let's see, what is, Angel's Touch, it's Angel's Touch and I can, I still can only smell the cloves so let me, let me open it up and see what it is. The last time they sent us incense though, oh my god, I went through them so quickly and um, my room smelled, oh I loved, I loved burning the incense. These incense that they sent they've never sent any duds so let's see what these incense smell like mm. do -do 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 -do. oh god guys mmm I'm gonna burn these tonight for sure oh my gosh mmm they smell really really good and you know the weird thing was is I've, I was never an incense girl I've always been a candle girl but I've never been into an incense but after getting these boxes uh, and they smell I think the thing is is usually the incense that I've smelt before this box were kind of on the cheap side and I never cared for them these are good quality incense and I guess that makes a difference if you do and the smell is just really good I know there's a lot of people who aren't too into incense and I didn't used to be one either but after having this box for a while I, I always am excited to see the, the incense sticks and the smell is really good. It's a very clean smell. Uh, let me see what kind of, it'll probably say in our, uh, in our little cheat sheet. Um, and this is another thing we always get in our box and, uh, is, is our stone. And this month's stone is, and I always have trouble saying this, so if I say it wrong, don't come at me in the comments. The stone itself is beautiful and it has a lot of blue in it and it's lapis lazuli. I think I'm saying that right. I'm probably not saying right, but um, it's, it's for self-expression and creativity. Um, it, it's, uh, and also a, it, it's supposed to help you project confidence and honesty in the spoken and written world. It also inspires confidence, clarity, and wisdom. So very, very cool. It's a beautiful stone. It has a lot of, um, a lot of, um, it's just really, really pretty. Really a beautiful stone. I really like this. I have a little collection. I had a collection before I started getting Witch Casket, but that's another thing that I love about Witch Casket is you always get a gemstone, and they just look really pretty on your altar. And if you believe they hold certain properties, so much the better. So very, very cool. But even if you don't, um, even if you don't believe, they just look real. They're a very nice artistic little touch on your altar. So I actually do believe, but. Um, but if you don't, that's okay. They still look pretty, right? Um, let's see. Is there anything else? I think there's one more thing besides our little scroll for the month. Oh, this is cool. Seek Magic. It looks like it is a little bookmark. And it's it looks like leather, but I know this is a vegan company, so I imagine this is a faux leather. But it's still very good quality. Um, it's very nice. Um, even though it's a bookmark, I probably won't use it for that myself. Um, one, I've been really bad this year. I haven't read as much as I usually do. This It's just been one of those years where I just haven't been in the right space to really read much. And two, I, I pretty much, except for books that really mean a lot to me, I pretty much purged all my books and have them on a Kindle now so I really have no use for this but I actually do have a use for this um, I think I'm going to add this on to uh, use this in a decor piece maybe for my uh, altar I have an idea that might work with this so um, you can think outside the box if you're like me and use your, and you and read your books on a digital thing you might could just use this as a decor piece so you could find a really cool art print and maybe add it into the frame you could do a lot of different stuff you don't necessarily have to use this as a book mark although you certainly could and it would look lovely but I like that a lot and I'm not a gold person gold isn't my thing but I still really like this okay and the last thing in our box eh, before we get to the cheat sheet is our witch casket uh, parchment scroll um, this is just usually stuff that you can add into your grimoire this adds um, this is stuff that they give you little tri uh, tips and tricks and magic and just little little magical tips basically and you get one in every box and let's see what this one is. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but the power of the written word. And then they tell you about journaling, positive writing, book of shadows, spell book grimoires, and as part of the smell and rituals. Here's how writing can help you in your magic. 
and um, you get a little thing. I keep all of these. I keep them in a little a little thing of mine. Um, these are helpful. It's all, I always read them before I put them away. Um, they give some good tips. Some of this stuff you already know, but they always give good tips, and I like that. And it just kind of gives the box that little extra touch, which I really like. And that was our November 2020's witch casket. Before I go, we'll go over with our little cheat sheet and I can tell you a little everything more in depth. <clears throat> Let's see. We got the Pentacle Wax Seal, which I really like. Again, it has some nice weight to it. It's not cheap. It's not chintzy. Um, if you're into letter writing, or even if you're not into letter writing, this might be something that might make you think, well, I've got all these nice letters and a little wax seal. I might as well write a few letters. And who knows what doors might open with sending a letter to someone you haven't talked to in a while. Um, so very cool. I really like this. This is not cheap. This is a very cool thing. And I think there's a lot of people out there who probably have admired these things, but for whatever reason, and never actually get them because I've, I've seen these in a few department stores and I'm always tempted but I never have and I'm glad I waited out because I got a really nice one from Witch Casket. Um, the next thing we got is the actual kit for everything to make the seal, our little, our little spoon, our little wax chips and the candle itself. Um, Seek Magic Embossed Bookmark. Again, like I said, you could totally use it for a bookmark, but you could also just use it as a little in a little DIY project if you wanted to add it into an art print. Or I'm actually thinking of putting this in and adding it onto my altar, like maybe decoupaging it onto my altar is kind of what I'm thinking. Very, very cool. And we have the Coven Correspondent Set, which is the uh, which is the nice sheets of paper and the envelopes. Very, very cool. And again, I can hear some people kind of roll their eyes if it's not their thing, but I actually really like it. And again, I really like how uh, the paper is I like all the little different um, little emblems on the on the letters themselves with the uh, with the pentacles and then we also have another one that has a skull on top very cool plus you get the envelopes I actually really like it um, and then uh, the creativity charm bag kit um, which is our spell for the month and I like that they get provide everything you need with it and um, I always do these and I always feel a little better after I practice these spells that's why I get that's one of the reasons why most people get the box and it's it, they're always nice they're always nice and it's what you put out in the world it, whether whether uh, some people might think it's a little hokey but it's good to put out that sort of stuff in the world uh, quill and uh, pentacle parchment enamel pin, which was very cool. Um, it'll definitely go on my jacket. Um, it's, uh, the pins are always nice. I've never had a problem with any of the pins. Very, very cool. Not one of my favorite pins, i got to be honest, but it's a very cool one. It's a very cool addition. The Power of Written Word Parchment Scroll, which we get in every thing. The Parchment Scroll, what I just showed you guys. Uh, the next thing we have is the Lapis Lazale uh, Tumbled Stone. Um, very pretty, pretty, pretty uh, stone. I like it. I like that it's kind of the blue grays. Very pretty. It'll make a nice addition onto my, uh, to my little collection. Um, and then our incense sticks. Um, incense have been used for centuries as meditation and also for spiritual cleansing, uh, sacred traditions, and rituals. Light the incense and allow magic aroma to seep through your space, removing negative energies and leaving behind beautiful, calming atmosphere. And they do smell really, and on top of that, they just make your room smell really good. I always do these in my bedroom, and I always love them. Uh, these probably will not last very long. The next thing we have that we got in this month's uh, box is our art print. Um, it's a very nice art print, um, but it's not really my taste, but I do, but that's okay because like I said, I do have a friend in mind who I think she would really appreciate this. So this will probably be coming with her Christmas card here in a couple of weeks because she'll appreciate, I'm not going to keep it just because I don't, I, it's not my thing, but I, th I do know someone who probably would appreciate it and will probably really like having it in their little altar space. So very cool. And I guess that was the last item in uh, uh, Witch Casca's November 2020. Um, my personal favorite this month has definitely got to be our little um, our little wax sealing kit. I really like that. I like our little our little wax seal emblem. I it it has some weight to it. I've always wanted one of these things. Very very cool. But really, there's not a bad thing in the box. Even though I'm not crazy about the art print, I know someone who will be. So it's not a waste. Um, I love that we got these beautiful. Um, uh, stationary set with the envelopes and the sheets of paper and I love the emble emblems on the paper and it's not just and I like the fact that they just didn't give one design they gave quite a few different designs on the paper so yeah <laughs> of course I mean some of you guys will probably be getting letters from me so ah 
Um, yeah, and I also liked our little uh, Magics Within You little uh, container, which you could put on your altar. You can do a hundred different things with this. I like the uh, that these items are always very versatile, and you can use them for more than some. For some of these items, you can use them for more than what one thing. Um, yeah, overall, this was. A, I'm really pleased with this month's uh, box. I'm already excited to see what uh, December's box. We're already in December. Come to think of it, uh, when I when you guys are getting this video, so um, I'm very excited uh, to see what the what December's going to bring. But as always, this is a great box. It's a UK box. It is a little on the pricey side because it is from the UK, but it's worth it. And there are way more expensive box out there. And if you're interested in getting one for yourself, Christian will leave the uh, all the information in the and down below. As always, thank you guys for watching. And as always, I wish you a good day, a good evening, and I'll talk to you guys real soon.